On Saturday, I said that I'm going to release my first free pattern on Tuesday and uh, it's going to be very. I'm pretty excited because it's my first pattern and I thought uh, very is easy for the start and it's perfect for my Christmas series. If you would like to see more patterns in the future, just uh, give this video a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment. If you decide to sew a beret, uh, just mark me on Instagram, I'm pretty excited to see your results. So, on your first page, uh, you will have a gluing order. And also on your version of the pattern, you will have a number right here in the right upper corner. Uh, I'm going to cut out these leftovers and then we're going to glue it. You will end up with six pieces that you can glue together. Um, yeah, I will start with the A row. Okay, on your version of the pattern, you will have a full line. Uh, I'm working with uh, the old version of my pattern because I was so sleepy that I printed out the wrong version of the pad. <laughs> uh, make sure that the circle uh, is full. Maybe in future I will be able to let my patterns print, uh, but we will see what the future holds. Here the seam allowance is already um, added into the tape. So you don't have to add the seam allowance in the whole beret pattern. So I have my fabric remnants here and I'm going to place my pattern pieces onto the leftovers of my coat. I think it looks perfect. I think this part looks perfect for this piece. On this piece we don't have to add seam allowance, I just calculated it in.
after I sew my garments. I have sewing pins everywhere in my flat, even in the bathroom. And sometimes I don't know how these pins are getting there. Let's look for another piece. No, that's too small. Uh, maybe this one. This one looks promising. Ooh, yes, that's perfect. That's perfect. Ooh. Ah, right here. So we can just put it maybe here at the corner. Yeah, we can put it at the corner. Sometimes it feels like my English is very broken to me. Uh, but it's new that I talk and put the pattern pieces at the same time onto the fabric. Because normally I just do voiceovers, but today I thought I can try something new and just do the voiceover at the same time. Maybe I will regret it later at the post-production. <laughs> Maybe I will be super glad because I don't have to do the voiceover any longer. I know there's a circle cutter on the market, but I don't cut uh, round things very often, so I'm not gonna get one, <laughs> I guess. I love sewing tools, um, but you can also sew beautiful things without a lot of sewing tools. Maybe you're asking yourself how you should assemble these parts together. So you turn around the front part, the good side, then you take the inside part, good side, left side. You place good side on good side and just pin it together. You start cutting in these edges. First, you have to put together the two ends of the ribbon like this. Sew it together with a straight stitch. and start placing your ribbon here onto the good side, good side on good side. But let's bring it to the sewing machine.
So that was my beret tutorial. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to sew a beret for yourself or for your loved ones. And uh, next time we will sew a Christmas gift for men. Bye!